We just love this city contemporary courtyard garden. Our brief from the client was to create a space they could entertain in, a real another room to the house. Now, believe it or not, this is a north-facing garden, which means it doesn't get a lot of sun in the winter. So to get over this and keep a feeling of light during the winter months, we've used these light, large pavers to bounce light around the whole space. We decided to put the seating and dining area right in the centre of the garden and we've backed it onto this raised bed here which is mainly all about textures as a matter of fact. We've got this lovely thyme at the front which is very aromatic and evergreen. Oh fabulous. And also mixed in with this we've got these Aragon daisies which flower for most of the year. As well as that we've got these grasses, a wonderful pine mungo. And at the back there, we've got Echinacea power, which is this white flower here with these lovely yellow cones. Our clients love to travel, so we thought we'd give them a taste of the Mediterranean with these three cypress trees in these large terracotta pots. And just to give that extra bit of atmosphere, we've painted this feature wall a bright emerald green. And of course, in winter, this wall will really zing. We've managed to get several different planting styles within this relatively small space. Here we've used block planting of a grass called Carex Bowles Golden. A wonderful yellow grass that's evergreen, so it will give us this same vibrant colour throughout the winter. We've used this section of eco-decking to separate the two different parts of the garden, as well as this caught and steel decorative panel, which is backlit and looks simply stunning at night. Within the design, this centre bed was very important as it kind of divides the two areas of the garden. This is much more of a relaxed, lush, maybe slightly woodland feel. You can see the blue Agastache black adder, the yellow Liguaria desdemona, and you can just probably make out the pinky purple of Salvia Love and Wishes. Now here in the rear section of the garden, we positioned these three silver birch trees in these oversized terracotta pots. They serve two purposes. One is just the sheer drama and the theatre of having such large trees in a small space. And the second is they do a brilliant job at masking the brick facade of the neighbouring property. Into the pots, we've put these Dryopteris Brilliance, which is a fern, and as you can see, the new shoots are actually this wonderful bronze colour, which matches with the cedar cladding that we have around the whole of the garden. I must just mention this wonderful hydrangea little line. It starts off as this lovely green white flower, and then it begins to develop these pinky hues which turn into completely pink flowers by the middle of the autumn. We've managed to put this large storage unit within the design but it doesn't dominate the space at all and we've achieved that I think possibly by painting it this dark grey which means it virtually merges into the background. So if you'd like us to create the garden of your dreams, why not get in touch via the website?